In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to use a tool called UV that you can use to manage your Python projects and replace some tools you're using now. So let's get started. To install UV, just go find the installation instructions on the website. I'm using Linux, so I'll copy this link. Then I'll paste it in and run it. That's it, UV is installed and ready to use. So I have this script. Inside, I'm just sending a request to my website and printing the HTML output. I'll now run this with UV. And to run anything with UV, you just type UV run first and then the name of the thing you want to run. But when I run it, you see I get a module not found error because I don't have the request library installed anywhere. If I wanted to use a virtual environment, I need to create one first, activate it, and then install a request for this one simple script. But with UV, there's a better way. I can associate the request library with the script by typing UV add dash dash script and then script.py and then the library that I want to install, requests. Now look at the script.py file. It has the dependencies at the top of the file in accordance with pep722. With this, UV will know what the script needs to run and it will handle installing and managing the packages for me. So now if I try running it again, it works. Let me run UV again, but this time just to start a Python REPL. Notice I have Python 3.13.2, which is the newest version installed on my computer. UV can manage Python versions as well. If I do Python lists, I can see all the Python versions available on my system. UV finds all the Python binaries in both the common locations and the location that it has under its control. This means I can use any version of Python installed on my system for a script. First, let me install a new version of Python. Let's say Python 3.7. I just need to type UV Python install and it's Available for me now. As an example, I can run my script with dash dash 3.7, so it uses 3.7 instead of 3.13. Okay, so it's great that UV can run a single file script, but what about projects with multiple files in them? Well, UV can manage those for you too. To create a project, type UV init. This creates a project with a Git repo. When I'm in a UV project directory, I can type UV add and then whatever my dependencies are. I'll use Django as an example here. We see it installs quickly. Let's look at the files again. We see the git repo along with .gitignore. .python version has the Python version number for the project, so you can make sure the project always runs with the correct version of Python. .venv is the virtual environment created by UV. You never have to interact with it directly. Readme.md and main.py are just placeholder files that you can use if you want, or you can delete them. Pyproject.toml has your project info, and uv.lock has the current dependencies for your project. With Django installed, let me do the various Django things that I'm used to. I can start a project, run migrate, and start the server, all with UV run. If I ever need to see the dependencies I have and the relationships, I can do UV tree. If I need a requirements.txt file, I can do UV export. Finally, with UV, you can run Python tools directly. UV will install and manage them for you. UVX is the command for dealing with tools. So if I want to use the cookie cutter tool, for example, it will download it and run it for me. And after going through the steps, I have a cookie cutter project set up. And if I want to format a file with black, same thing, UVX black and then the file name, and it just works. So as you can see, working with UV is very easy. To try it out for yourself, just go to astral.sh to get started.